over yet tonight. Action packed menu. We've got the men's ski super pipe. We got the women's snowboard super pipe. But first, you're going to get to watch the more stylistic and creative side of skiing with the Wendy's Ski Knuckle Huck. Let's go! Well, as the sun sets in the Rockies, we fire up the lights out here tonight. Only two competitions left to go here from Aspen Snowmass. And we started off with Wendy Ski Knuckle Huck. Welcome, everyone. I'm Jimmy Coleman. As always, standing alongside Tom Wallace. And well, in the history of the X Games, we've only contested this event three prior times. And each time, we've had a different outcome, a different winner. Yeah, and that's because it's so creative, so unique. This event is so fun. But one of those guys to watch out for who's won before, Colby Stevenson. He's got so much technicality in slope style and big air, but he's also got flavor. And that's what you see in an event like Knuckle Hug. It really is open for anything. Do whatever you want. Make it down across that knuckle in any way. And Colby does just that. So one to watch for in the event here tonight. Yeah, he got that 2020 at the inaugural uh, Wendy's Ski Knuckle Huck. And then you also have Alex Hall in the lineup out here tonight, returning gold medalist as well. But check out the fans out here tonight. The vibe out here has been awesome. I mean, we had a one-year hiatus with the fans here due to the global pandemic, but they're back, and it's been an awesome week of competition. We're going to cap it off with two big ones out here tonight. And this one's a, a low pressure, just kind of an expression session kind of vibe here, Tom. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's out there having fun, keeping the vibes high. and another Another guy to watch out for, Alex Hall, the other American in the field with a gold medal in this event. Well, before we get this thing started, let's check in right now with Jen Hudak. Hey guys, I am up here on the drop-in for Knuckle Huck. I've been watching these guys warm up all evening and they are already having a blast. You guys said it, it is all about the good time vibes out here. And they're just filming each other with their iPhones and coming back up here, watching it, getting each other stoked. So this is gonna be a fun event tonight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Back to you guys. Yeah, it's an overall jam session here. One of the changes coming in here for 2022 in the past, it was just a winner. It was winner take all. We gave out a gold knuckle. This time around, there's actually a full podium. Yeah, so really fun to have more results. It's still, you're not going to see ranking. You're not going to see scores or points. It's really a full session. Judges will come to us with the results at the end, but it just cool to have three podium places open and also cool to have guys like Will Berman, a legend of the urban film grind, level one movies. I mean, out here in the X Games, an X Games rookie actually, but that just shows the type of athletes that you can have in this event. Everybody from slope style stars to film guys and anywhere in between. Yeah, Will actually came into this as an X Games rookie. He was here as a team manager and then was asked to be in the competition. So uh, again, to echo your point from earlier, we don't even know what's going on. We won't see scores. We won't see any rankings. It's just going to be a big reveal at the end of the competition as we bring in Jake Majot. Yeah, so something fun for you guys to do at home. I mean, take some notes, keep an eye on some of these tricks and different unique butters and spins you see, and tell us who you want, you know, to end up with the W here tonight. And judges are taking notes on everything. They're judging on overall impression, as well as giving a little bit of extra credit to any wow factor trick. So if something is absolutely insane, that's obviously gonna help you. But as well, if you're just vibing and you have multiple good, cool, steezy, unique tricks, that's all gonna add up. Well, here comes Keegan Kilbride from Maine. He owns a real ski bronze medal from the X Games back in 2018. Yeah, Keegan, another urban guy that's been in the scene for a while, always got the smoothest style. Same with Jake Majot, who we just saw before him. Both those guys, X Games real ski competitors. Jake's got a gold medal in that event, and uh, Keegan's got the bronze, like you said. Well, the tweets are starting to come in. Here's one from Wendy's. The chills and thrills, no spills. You get a free drink with any Wendy's breakfast sandwich, Tom. Well, I, it's making me hungry, and we're going to see a lot of chills and thrills out here on this course tonight. So Quinn Wolferman, this is his third X Games appearance. Other side. Quinn coming around, popping off the noses there. So another unique trick. A lot of these guys opting to, to go without the goggles here tonight. So it's in that twilight sort of dusk hour. So kind of difficult to see as the sun sets and the lights turn on. So just going no goggles. Look at that grab. I mean, 
really, judges aren't critiquing every little bit nuance like they are in slope style. It's more about the flavor and the overall style, the, the composition of all the tricks you're doing. So again, there's the format, eight athletes. It is a 20 minute jam session and the judges are looking at your overall impression and it's a big reveal at the end. Here's a guy that had a big outing already, Day. He earned himself a slope style silver medal. This is Max Moffitt. Oh, Max spinning in and then spinning out. And I mean, he's got to be riding a high. Coming off a huge result today, silver in X Games slope style. I mean, he's been skiing so well. We talked about his style all day in the slope style event. And you can see it here, just the shifty of the hips, the way he puts those feet back under him, smooth. Yeah, his best prior slope style appearance before earlier this afternoon was 13th, so he follows that up with a silver here today. Here's a guy who's looking for a little bit of redemption after a big air performance the other night. This is Matej Svonser. This kid is so fun to watch. Big air, knuckle, oh! Barry Henrik Harlow inspired going into that nose butter for a ways across the knuckle, then popping in to sort of that switch under flip, switch five. I mean, so laid out and inverted. I mean, this is just cool the way he uses that entire knuckle. It's not about kind of just jumping. He really, truly butters across it and it's got the open coat swag going. Love to see it. Well, Colby Stevenson won the golden knuckle here at the 2020 X Games. Now he shows us how it's done. The knuckle huck event is, takes place on the landing of the big jump. You're just using the roller of the landing and it's like a, basically a dance floor. Yeah, you'll see people you know, doing butters on their noses and doing hand drags and just launching to the, to the bottom. The way you do well in knuckle huck is by doing a variety of tricks Boy. and being consistent. So it's a jam session and judges just want to see you do some creative things as much of it as you can. We're always talking about how fun it is and uh, pushing yourself in a different way. You know, not always doing the biggest double cork or whatever. You're just kind of doing butters and hand drags and having a good time with your buddies. Well, there you go. Colby Stevenson breaks it down. When he got that gold medal, or gold knuckle, I should say, he actually was the first X Games rookie that year to win ski slope style as well. What a year that was for Colby to come out with all those results. Coming out, knuckle hook was the first event and really just like came out swinging. What about that last clip? All that footage shot on an iPhone was pretty incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. The technology, those features. And like Jen on the saying, iPhone. Jen saying, they're out there just doing this. I mean, they're filming each other anyway, always. I mean, that's where you see the clips on the ground. Well, here's a gentleman who's had a big weekend already. He's got a big air gold medal and a slope style bronze from earlier today. It's Alex Hall. Oh, Alex Hall going ginormous. Just going switch to switch, zero spin with a hand drag and just going all the way down. I mean, he's going fast, grabs the hand drag, almost looks like he's gonna go to forward. He's like corked out, shifties it. I mean, so smooth. Alex is so fun to watch on any discipline. Well, America's most reliable network is going ultra, ultra fast, ultra powerful 5G ultra wideband. Let's you see 360 footage live from Aspen in the X Games mobile app. So download now for an unforgettable experience. So just like that, we're back up to the top of the order here, bringing back in Will Berman, our X Games rookie in the field out here tonight. Yeah, comfortable on all the urban rails, big urban features, and doing big hand drags like that. So this format's just going to keep rolling on. Athletes are jamming. Again, no score is going to be showing up there at the top. So for those of you watching at home, you just got to keep track of the guys you like, what athletes you like to see, what tricks you're liking, and then wait to the end. The judges will let us know who actually killed this jam session the best. Okay, Jake Majot, uh, he's got a real ski gold medal from 2020, but this is actually the first time he's competed at an on-site X Games competition. Oh, so smooth, Jake there. Buttering a another long butter. We saw Matei do that too, really riding the noses of the ski, pressuring into the front of the boots all the way across that knuckle, grabbing. Oh, a little grab out too. I mean, lots of flavor on that. Such a fun guy to watch. It's wild how he lays himself out into that position as we are working our way towards the 14 minute mark here in the Wendy Ski Knuckle Huck with Keegan Kilbride coming at it again. 
Another butter across that. So everybody seems to be doing the butter. And when I say butter, what that really means is they're just using the tips or tails of their ski to press along the snow. You really force the ski into the snow and you're only using the front or back part of it. So never letting it touch underfoot and just a cool, fun trick. Butter that toast. Quinn Wolferman, no stranger to the knuckle hook. You see, he got third place finish. However, back in the early days, it was winner take all. This is the first year we've had a full podium or will have a full podium, I should say. And great to have a full podium for this one, because really it was tough. Winner take all was brutal. You really had to do something absolutely outrageous or stand out with such smooth style. Now there's a chance to walk away with a silver and a bronze. And when you're doing really consistent tricks like that, I mean, quinn has got a chance. You gonna take credit for that? We got Max coming in here, and I mean, just revved up after a big result today. Just out here having fun, which is always the best way to do well at one of these events. For me, at least, you see somebody come off a lot of success and that just makes it that much easier at the next event. Sorry, I left you there for a second. My microphone had a little bit of an issue. So Max Moffitt, get another run there. Matei sponsor. Back at it here as we're working our way towards 12 minutes to go. Oh, Matei going for that nose butter across, and then that one there stopping it at 540. So not going all the way to 720. We got that great follow cam action there by uh, Tim McChesney there. I've been out there all week on course supporting us. Okay, here we go, taking another look at Colby Stevenson competing in three different disciplines out here this year at X Games Aspen 2022. Oh, Colby's spinning to the right on that one, so we see a little bit of both directions. There, just getting that grab. I mean, all the way to the bottom, too, and judges aren't necessarily re requiring you to spin left and right, but cool to see it nonetheless. Well, Alex Hall is the only skier to win X Games gold in four different ski disciplines, which is amazing. That's good enough to be the subject of today's Wendy's Athlete Profile. Winning the slope gold here in 2019 was a huge moment for me, and I think it kind of just like checked the box that I think a lot of freestyle skiers or snowboarders kind of, it's like a goal there to so get an X Games gold medal. The energy at X Games is amazing. It's just so different, it's such a special event. Filming a video part's huge for me. It's helped me progress my rail skiing a lot, but I think it's also kept it really fun and interesting to wear, adding a little bit of flavor here and there, some creativity. Just has kept it more rewarding when I then land a run that's got these creative aspects or this kind of street style, so just makes it a little more fulfilling. I mean, that last little rail nugget right there, yeah. that was insane. Double transfer between that one. I mean, Alex is just so creative and so technical. One, you know, the best at almost every aspect of skiing. There's the one footer across the knuckle. So first time we're seeing that, that's kind of fun. Going back slide, sort of sliding the knuckle on the one foot, getting the spin out. Let's take another look, it just rides that knuckle sideways. Just, you know, no rules out here, so you can do it any way you want. No hands down, too. Alex got the smooth landings. He's another one of those guys competing in three different events out here at X Games Aspen 2022 Slope Style Big Air, and now here in Knuckle Hug. But we are just getting started, and the action is heating up here. Who is going to make the podium here tonight? We will find out when we come back here to Aspen Snowmass. X Games Aspen is brought to you by GEICO. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. Dude, this is just not my day. Atrocious. Oof. To do and Jack. Oh man, I, Victoria, I don't know if I've been struggling with sleep lately, but I just can't get the perfect backdrop for my selfies. They're turning out horrible. Let me see. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. Oh. I I can't unsee that. What happened there? Dude, I have the perfect place to go. Come on. All right. 
This is the spot for the perfect selfie. The Wendy's Hot and Crispy Ski Rack because Wendy's is the official fries of X News Aspen. What are we waiting for? All right. Get in here, sister. Well, that was today's Wendy's look at. You guys can make your way over here because this rowdy fan corral area would make a perfect backdrop for a selfie right now here. Why? Because we are in the middle of the Wendy's Ski Knucklehuck out here at Aspen Snowmass for our third and final night of competition. We're almost halfway through the jam session out here tonight. And well, it's all about fun and expression here and just sending it. We don't know the standings. We don't know who's in the lead. There's just a big reveal when we get to the end of this jam session here we go back up to the top of the start order here with will berman out of steamboat springs colorado yeah and i love the vibe there at the top you see the other athletes kind of chatting it up what are you gonna do talking to each other you see other athletes like mac forehand at the top who is just there to cheer on his friends it's less of that vibe that you see at the top of a slope style event nowadays with coaches and wax techs this is really just a good old-fashioned session like you could have at any part at your home mount yeah and a lot of too is like you know once the energy gets rolling it's a lot of just kind of make it up as you go along here comes bend oregon's jake majot yeah i mean just building off each other and what's that so energy that intensity yeah just seeing each other try new tricks gets you so motivated <laughs> to try something of your own like that did jake. you see how deep he went he Jeez. went past the last die line how do you do that i mean doing a hand drag on the landing if you don't get your hand down on this, if you can't get your feet back under you, that is going to be a bad time. So a sick move there from Jake, similar to what we saw out of Alex Hall. A little double hand plant right there. Well, another tweet coming in from Wendy's here. Wendy's fries, extra hot, extra crispy, and extra ready for the hashtag X Games. You know what they say, if you French fry when you meant to pizza, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> A nice tie-in right there. So you take a look at Keegan Kilbride here. So we're working our way around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. He opened up big time on that. That could have been a lot worse. Good save by Keegan. Yeah, he gets onto those tails of those skis. And then as you're do, anytime you're doing one of those butters, you can just catch an edge. You can see he just goes into that corked rotation, struggling to get his feet back under him. That is not how you want to land. Uh, look at that right E right there, just taking the impact. But he springs back up from that one pretty quickly there. About 10, just under 10 and a half left to go here. In the Wendy Ski and Knuckle Huck as we bring back in Quinn Wolferman in his third X Games appearance. Oh, Quinn doing sort of a worm turn across the knuckle, just getting onto the stomach, riding that knuckle, spinning around. I mean, to me, this is this is basically a worm turn. I mean, gets all corked out. You, you, some people go Polish donut with that one, but I, I really, I prefer that to be the around the body type spin on the ground. You're just laying yourself up completely sideways on a hip slide right there coming off of that. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you don't have anything in your pocket when you're going sideways on your hip like that. It's gonna say it. That's a good way to lose your keys or your iPhone there. <laughs> exactly. I mean, slides out. You don't have the pocket all the way zipped shut. You're gonna have a bad time. I mean, here, look at Max. He's going full stop. Goes hockey stop, Stanley Cup on the knuckle, and then goes big old bio misty out. So a lot of different variety from all these athletes here tonight. Just having so much fun. Well, he should be having fun. He's got a slope style silver medal from earlier today. Once again, we see Matej Sponsor on course. Oh, another one of those cool nose butters leaning in. Love the puffy coat just all the way blown open in the breeze. Colby Stevenson taking another run at it here with under nine minutes to go. Oh, Colby. Oh, a ah, little style butter. Was that a crash? He's really, I've seen this happen to him a couple times today. His ski bindings just come partially out, so he ends up just barely unclipped in and then has to kind of struggle through it. Let's take a look. I think he goes double grab on this one, dives forward. 
Nice hand drag across it. Oh, there it is. It's a hand drag to a tail grab, but little off on that landing. Judges aren't strict, though. This is more fun event. They want to be seeing you landing fun tricks. Well, there's a little more up for grabs here this year. In the past, with it being one and done, uh, we have a full podium out here in 2022. So we bring back in Alex Hall, sending it deep. Look at the follow cam shots right there. These have been epic all weekend long. Yeah, I mean, look at that sunset in the background, close follow cam. You can really see the speed. Like, this might be just a fun mess around, go off the knuckle event. They're still going 30, 40 miles an hour at this thing and carrying like 45, 50 feet down that knuckle. So we're into the fourth round here at the Windy Ski Knuckle Hub. We're back to the top of the order with Will Berman. So he takes us to the seven and a half minute mark. Oh, super smooth there, Will. You see him coming in switch, really buttering along there, getting the hand drag too, and he's back. He's out of there. He's back to the top. I was going to say, these guys aren't messing around. No. He's like right through the crowd. He's taking the ride back up top. They're trying to maximize the amount of runs. So we take another look at Jake Majot. I love it. Going back for more and more. Quick back to the top. Keep that jam session going. Ooh. Jay gets the tap in the middle of that one, so going so fast, spinning in, spinning out, comboing the whole way. Oh, look at this. You can tell from that first kind of takeoff zone. And then he hits the tips right there. They get all crossed up, but he's able to just pull it around to switch. Look how much speed he came into the corral area with. Had to work really hard to stop from going into the snow fence. Here comes Keegan Kilbride. I mean, they're dropping from the big air takeoff, and they're they're doing some speed checks, but they're still going so fast down that landing. You know, that's what's crazy, too. If you're watching this, you're like, what in the world's a knuckle? I mean, there's no lift. There's no transition. There's no pitch to propel you up. I mean, yeah. you're basically going off of the flat landing feature that was part of our competition courses out here this weekend. Yeah, and where this kind of contest originated is because there's always a knuckle at the park, and if the jump isn't built right, or say the weather's bad, you can always try a weird trick or a butter or a hand drag off the knuckle. And to dive further into it, I got to imagine it's called a knuckle, just like the knuckle on your hand, just the way it ends the jump, creates the landing, and really just every terrain park that has a jump or any sort of feature basically has a knuckle. So all these tricks you're seeing these athletes do, you can go out to your local park, you know, in the Midwest, East Coast, anywhere where it's a small hill and still try some of these cool, unique, fun things. You know, and that was the whole vibe of this event. We first brought it to X Games to just get out there and have some fun, but it's really evolved into its own thing over the last couple of years. And now here in 2022, we're going to have a full podium. Look at Quinn Wolferman sending it. Oh, <laughs> Quinn Wolferman is here to go for that golden knuckle. I mean, that was so big. The double cork 1080 off the noses. Nose butter spins around. I mean, okay, it's no longer just for fun. Quinn's here for the W tonight. And just look how far down. I mean, is there a landing left? left? No, he's, look how, it's not just past that last island. He, I don't think there's almost any more transition left at that point. He, he landed at the airport. He's trying to catch a flight home already. He was trying to land at the lobby of the Inn at Aspen right there. Oh he's, my goodness. He's going in for chicken wings before the event's <laughs> over here down at the Inn. There we go, Max Moffitt with under five minutes left to go here in the Wendy's Ski Knucklehawk. Oh, Max Moffat, I love the way he lays out there, reaches for the hand drag, and then he's super big and open. I mean, just really smooth style there for Max. See, reaches down. Does he get the hand on there? Oh, kind of gets the pole on there. And just look at that body position. It's so cool how he's looking with his eyes, then has to shift them around and bring it back under. Well, the judges, uh, again, no scores in this one, but again, uh, working hard on those iPads, looking at some of the replays and uh, trying to figure out where they're going to rank everybody here once it's all said and done here with this last four minutes to go. Yeah, I mean, we're calling it all, but they're taking notes. They're keeping an eye on everybody's variety of tricks, what they're doing, really tabulating that all so that we can make a good kind of final showing of who really kind of Overall impression, who had the best time and killed it tonight in this event? So Matei Sponsor, just with a cool, steezy style right there on that last attempt. 17 years, nine months, he is the youngest male skier out here at Aspen 2022. And now we're going to bring back in Colby Stevenson. Oh, 
Oh, Colby doing one of those long butters too into sort of a switch flare. He's, he's got to tighten those dins or something. Those skis are coming off. I was gonna say, that's two runs in a row there. The last go around, he had to go collect those things from underneath the vehicle. He is also trying some crazy things. Look at that, rides the noses, and then goes full laid out and inverted Andy Brink Brinker on that one, switch flare. So he's gonna have to take it back up top, get to the next round. Now, here's a story we have not told. We said that Alex Hall has a bigger goal than he has a slope-style bronze. If he's able to medal here tonight, uh, that would be huge because no male skier has ever medaled in three disciplines at the same X Games. Okay, and that is well within the realm for Alex Hall with big spins buttering across into that big rotation out of there. and he. He's got a lot of tricks tonight. He has that huge switch zero spin hand drag. He's got this nose butter to tail butter to nose butter. I mean, just buttering across that whole thing and then spinning out. He's got a lot of variety. Judges, they want to see variety, but they also want to see just the style, that arm swag, those landings really all add up. Well, with time winding down here, it looks like we are going to get one more round of runs here at the Wendy Ski Knuckle Huck. And again, we have the big reveal at the end. So we don't know the standings. We have no idea how they're ranked right now. So we get into the last round here with Will Berman. Oh, Will, another starting off switch. Trying to get that final rotation, I think, there to bring that one all around to forward. but. Just having fun out there. Another urban guy. Great to see him back in the scene here at X Games. Yeah, as I mentioned before, I mean, he came into this weekend as a team manager and then all of a sudden finds himself here in Wendy's Ski and Knuckle Huck as we are looking at Jake Majot here up top for his final attempt. Catching an inch on the way in there. So they almost took out the snow oh. fence right there. <laughs> How did he get that one around? I, that was against the laws of physics. He goes switch 360 and puts the hand drag down, but like the way he pops it, it looked like he wasn't going to be able to get his feet back under him. With two down, six to go here. Final round of runs here at the Wendy Ski Knuckle Hunk. This is Portland, Maine's Keegan Kilbride, known for his street skiing skills, filming a lot of handrails in New England this season. Oh, very smooth. Just a 180, floated across that knuckle. I mean, that is just, you love to see it. Just smooth style and having fun. You can hear the guys talking it over there at the end of the runs down there in the corral area. Time winding down with our final 30 seconds. So again, this will run out the order here. So we give everybody the same amount of runs. So we're taking a look at Quinn Wolferman up top. But before we get to his next run, let's check in real quick with DC for a crowd check vibe. Yeah, guys, not only the crowd, but just the athletes down here. I mean, the crowd, they're all smiling. They're getting lit up on a freezing cold night, and they're still having a blast smiling in the crowd. But the athletes, just standing down here in the crowd, you can just see the look in their eyes. You can see the smile on their faces. You can hear them laughing as they're cruising down. It is so awesome to see. And, Tom, it was like when we were ripping around today on our break right before things got started up here. It's just so fun riding with your friends, having a good time, just messing around. Nothing too serious. Just good old classic clean fun. Yeah, like we were talking about earlier, it's just like the traditional competitions that we have throughout the course of the weekend where it's the scores and the rankings and the nerves are there and you're looking at the leaderboard. Like, it's just a big surprise. It's a good time. Everyone's having fun and we just don't know who gets the golden knuckle until the very end. Yeah, it's so strict. Some of the events, you know, set amount of runs or time and you got to do certain tricks or spin to the left and right. And, and it's so cool when like DC saying, this is just riding with your friends and it takes us back to what skiing and snowboarding were, you know, when you all start. Eventually you get to this level and it's so serious. It's great as a professional to still experience that fun of being a kid, riding with your friends at the resort. Well, your slope style silver medal is from earlier today. Back at it for one more. Oh my goodness. Oh, Max Moffitt. 
absolutely spinning like a top. He said, you know what, I did some smooth, stylish, smaller spins. It's time for me to send this one. Look at the way he winds up into this. Huge wind up, 540 in, taps there, and then wraps up, basically a switch 10 there. Huge rotation for Max Moffat. I mean, just like, this is one way to take it. You either take it with the butter and you're really focused on just using the tips and the tail, or you go for sort of that pop off the knuckle into a massive rotation. I mean, that is quite a way to uh, put the period on the end of your windy ski knuckle hug runs right there. Nicely done by Max Moffitt. Matej Sponsor, we saw him at Big Air last night. Said earlier, was looking for a little bit of redemption out here today. He had one of the single highest scores in that Big Air competition last night in his X Games debut. Yeah, I mean, his air awareness is unlike anything else. It's just so impressive. Oh, and there, look at the style. He's been doing that move all night, going off the noses. They're wrapping it up for the full rotation of a 900 all the way to switch. Look at his body positioning as he leaves the deck there off the knuckle. I mean, it's almost a flat spin. It's flat. He ends up getting into that cork rotation, but he's so flat and so yeah. pressed on the noses. I love it when we get to hear the conversations that these guys <laughs> yeah. have after their runs, especially at the end when it's down to the last runs. And we didn't really speak to that. Quit did land almost on his head on that switch front flip attempt off the knuckle. <laughs> So we're down to our final two competitors here at the Wendy's Ski and Knuckle Hug. We got Colby Stevenson coming your way right now, and then we wrap it up with Alex Hall. Oh, Colby going for the butter double. Okay. Okay. We're seeing a lot of pushing the limits now. It's no longer small tricks. It's time for one of those 1260s. I mean, this isn't a big air jump. This is the knuckle, and he's going nose butter. Let's take a look at this. I, oh, yeah, right off the noses. Gets the grab under the foot. I mean, Colby, here he is again. He's won this event before. He knows the judges like the big spins and the tech tricks. So here we go with one skier left to go. Everyone has to hang out there at the bottom when we have the big reveal. And this time around, not just the golden knuckle, but we also hand out the silver and bronze medal this year as well. One skier left to go, it's Alex Hall. He's been smooth all night. Let's see if he's got something crazy. What? Oh! Did you see how flat he was and how far he sent himself? Oh, well, he almost can't believe it. Look at his reaction. He went <laughs> so low to the ground. He was hovering above that ground, grabbing both hands onto it, looking over that right shoulder, grabs both hands, and then tries to pretzel it back to the left. Oh, wow, and gets his feet back under him to forward. I mean, scary stuff. Look how low he is, like you said. He's dragging his hands, and then he's corked out, trying to squirm back to forward. Look where his shoulders and his arms were trying to fight to get that back around to ski away from it. My goodness. Oh, and Trevor Kennison is down there, too, with the whole gang. Yeah, and what a performance by Trevor Kennison earlier today. If you didn't see it on ABC, he's the first adaptive athlete to ever hit the big air jump out here at X Games Aspen. Didn't try it once, he went for it twice. You want to talk about pure spirit, drive, and determination? That guy is the embodiment of it. Yeah, 90 some feet off that big air jump earlier. And there it is! Oh, Quinn Wolferman's gonna get the gold medal! So we add yet another name to the list of winners of this event. Jake Majot getting the silver, and Alex Hall, he makes history. He gets his third medal out here at the same X Games this weekend with the bronze. Wow, what a finish! Let's send it down right now to DC. Oh, Quan, my man. Wow. Right in the lift with you earlier today, you were telling me this is the only contest you got going on this year. Yep. And to do it here in fashion under the lights in your X Games gold medal, 
Man, tell me about what's going through your head. What does this mean to you, my friend? Uh, yeah, kind of speechless, honestly. Just thanks to everybody who lets us come and do this. And it's the best knuckle yet this year, and third time's a charm, so we're hyped. Well, congratulations, your gold medalist in Knuckle Huck. What do you want to say about everybody else out here? Yeah, everybody crushed, and I just, these dudes all went so hard and slow, but in big air, and they got to be tired, and I just commend them for coming out and sending, and a bunch of last minute invites, and it's just tough out here, like COVID, everything, and everybody just made it happen, and skied amazing, and yeah, we're so hyped. Well, congratulations. We did it! I mean, what an amazing finish. I mean, we started it off with Colby Stevenson in 2020, then Alex Hall in Norway that year, Henrik Harlow last year, and now Quinn Wolferman finds his name at the top of the list here at the Wendy's Ski Knucklehawk. I mean, what a finish, Tom. Just amazing. I mean, Quinn, you, you saw him. He's having so much fun. All these guys having fun, and that's the name of the game here at Knucklehawk. We're not quite done yet. We still got men's ski superpipe when we come back.